Hello, Callie Ghoul here. I just started this channel. I wanted to share with you some ideas for Halloween. I've been meaning to do this actually for quite some time now. Um, last year it just wasn't possible. I had an incredible loss in my family, which kept me from doing it, but I believe this year uh, we're all looking for something to cheer us up a bit. So the idea of this channel was to basically share with you some ideas for Halloween. I do 18 to 20 costumes in a year. Um, this year is a little um, stressful because of COVID and everything. I just haven't been able to get my hands on uh, as much product as I would like to, and I'm going to have to make things look the way I want them to look for the costume because I had to just get what I could. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I plan to do more with this channel. I'm starting with <laughs> my husband using the paper shredder. Um, I'm starting uh, going from easy to harder. So um, the first costumes that I do are gonna be pretty easy. And then um, I'm gonna go into the harder ones later on in the month. So um, it's just creating how to create costumes from basically stuff from the thrift store or um, stuff you might have at home. Uh, that's what I do every year in order to accomplish 18 to 20 costumes, as you can probably um, imagine, it's you have to kind of try to be as economical as possible. But I hope you enjoy the channel and we'll get started with the first costume. Thank you so much. So for today's look, I was inspired by the Polynesian dancers or Tahitian dancers. Um, very ornate. So I bought this headdress from eBay. Now the headdress I bought for a luau that I was going to and it was $75 on eBay with free shipping, but it's pretty cool. It's got all the shell um, accoutrement, you know, just a very cool looking headpiece, very tall as well. In the back, it's got a feather boa And that's that. So um, I picked up these My Lays from Party City. They were very inexpensive. Um, grass skirt. I had to get two because I'm voluptuous. And what I did was I just, um, to the top of the grass skirt, I added the My Lay to give it a, I just hot glued it on there. So I would show you how I did that, but I already had it done. so. Um, I just hot glued one of these to the top of a grass skirt. I've got another one here that's plain. And that's how I did that. What I usually do is I'll wrap the other one, the plain one around the bottom, around my, my rear end. <laughs> and then I kind of wrap the other My Lay Lay around and tuck it in. But I'll show you how that I do that. So these came from Party City as well. They actually have, I'm not usually a big fan, but um, they actually have pretty good selection when it comes to luau stuff. Uh, I have a, just a regular black wig here that I'm also going to wear just to look a little more Tahitian. I'm actually very, very fair complected. So I tried using the Neutrogena self tan, but evidently that doesn't happen overnight either. I'll probably be tanned tomorrow. But for tonight, I'm just gonna be a fair complected hula girl. <laughs> and this is a bra that I bought just online on uh, Amazon, I believe. It's a strapless bra, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the cups brown to make it look like coconuts because my coconuts have gotten a little bigger over the years, so I'm going to do that. I have set up 
my station here with my makeup. I'm thinking uh, maybe just a little bronzer. Now this is a um, Ben Nye warm brown aqua that I might add to low light a little bit. And that's about all I'm gonna use as far as makeup goes. I put my makeup mirror here. I don't know if this is gonna be enough lighting, but like I said, I'm working out all the kinks. Next year will probably be a lot better. So I'll get started with my spray painting. What I'm going to do is I only want the cups spray painted, so I'm gonna cover up the rest of it with duct tape to so that I don't paint the parts that I don't want painted because this will be used again for another costume. So I'm just gonna tape around all the parts that I want to be flesh tone. So I've already started putting the tape around the parts of the bra that I don't want to be spray painted. Just loosely put them back here because you don't want it to be too hard to get off. I kind of messed up and they, they're touching, but I just want the bra to be protected because like I said, I will be using it in another, for another costume, I should say. It's always best to get things that you can use in multiple costumes. That way you're not just wasting your money on one costume, like if you can. You could even use it for another year. I know not everybody does 18 to 20 costumes a year, but since I do, that's how I do it. It's kind of like a cross utilization of product products <laughs> so that you can uh, really make, you know, multiple costumes. Um, for this, just gonna fold that a little bit. I do wanna get the whole cup. So I'm going to do that and then get these other small areas. Hopefully this works. <laughs> I plan to also do a little freehand on there just with some acrylic paint, light brown, just to make it look a little more textured like a coconut would be. blocking off these other areas loosely and you can do it any old way as long as it's covered up this will be my first time actually <laughs> doing this project I recently had a tummy tuck so I would not bear my midriff before, so um, it's been a long time. I've had two kids and the midriff just wasn't looking good. So I've actually got a couple costumes this year where I will bear a little more than I normally do. <laughs> kind of a celebration of the new look. And a lot of girls like to do the sexy costume anyway, so that'll give me a little more um, flexibility when it comes to that. I'm usually one for ugly costumes. Those are my favorite <laughs> because I like to look scary and ugly, I guess. Those are always my favorite. So you don't have to go all the way down to the end. I did on one side, but I think I'm just gonna go that far. You just want it far enough to where <clears throat> it's not gonna get on the other parts if you want that part to be nude for another costume. So that's done. Now we get our spray paint.
So <clears throat> I have a little bit of acrylic paint here. This one is tan. So I'm just gonna paint some fibers onto the bra so it looks a little more coconutty. I've got a fine paintbrush and I'm just gonna use this cup to just pour out a little bit of the paint. Make it easy on yourself. So, just wanna maybe go a little finer than that. I wanna kinda make it look like a coconut. It's my uh, afternoon nap alarm going off. may look a little funny right now, but, but when we get it done, it'll look good. And it will definitely photograph well. So, I mean, it won't just look like brown, plain brown. <laughs> so, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, dilly dum. There they are, standing in a row. It's funny because each time I'm doing a costume every year, <clears throat> whatever the costume like theme song is, is like in my head until I get the costume done, which I've always found to be pretty funny. <laughs> it gets me inspired, you know? Not that uh, that song has anything to do with <laughs> uh, a Polynesian dancer, but has to do with coconuts, so I think it's still good. So just like that. And you're gonna do that with the other cup, obviously. You want two coconuts, not just one. So yeah, just kind of So we're gonna do that and let that dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera. So, voila, we have a coconut. <clears throat> Many of you noticed I am not wearing makeup, and there was a reason for that. You gotta be clean-faced if you're gonna put on a costume. So, um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be wearing a wig. So I'm gonna put on a wig cap, get my hair up. And if anybody knows about a GoPro, tell me why the screen keeps going black, because I have no idea. <laughs> Even though I've watched the tutorial many times. I'm gonna get my hair back. And I chose a black wig cap because my wig is black. So trying to go all natural. Now I used to have black hair, but my white sprigs were getting out of control. So I don't have that anymore. 
I needed something that was going to blend a little better. Maybe I would look a little younger. That's what we all want when we're turning 40, right? So, I don't know how this is going to work out because the cream tan that I put on is not really working. Uh, it's the Neutrogena. It probably works over a couple days and after a couple of uses, but I'm not one to really get very tan. I mean, I do, but I have to go out like every day. So what I'm gonna do, I've got the Ben Nye uh, Magic Cake Aqua Paint in warm brown. And I'm just gonna kinda go over my face. So I look a little more not white. <laughs> now, when you're putting on the aqua paint, you're gonna have a sponge and you wanna just dampen it. Um, not wet, but just damp to get the color on. This stuff's amazing because, as you can see, I'm already getting darker. But, I use this for everything. And there was a time when I actually spray painted my body with the uh, Krylon liquid latex paint. <laughs> my dad said it was safe, so I did it. Whatever. I'll do anything in the name of Halloween, I guess. Probably took a couple years off my life because I had to get it off with uh, paint thinner. <laughs> but, you know, that was then. I wouldn't advise anyone to do that. It's going to kind of blot it on. And already I'm getting a nice sun-kissed look. So I'm also going to do this. Um, to some other body parts, you know, up here. I'll just shut off for that. But you get the idea. You're gonna dampen the sponge and just kind of blot on. See you in a minute. So I went off camera to get a little dressed. Um, I've got pretty much the whole thing on. You can see the coconut bra here. It looks like a coconut. So um, what we're gonna do now is just a little makeup. Um, you can see I'm bronzed because of the Ben Nye Aqua in warm brown. My favorite makeup to use. I'm just going to darken my eyebrows with a black pencil. I'm trying to look Tahitian. I'm not at all. So, just going to darken my eyebrows. This is a very soft pencil, so. It's, um, very easy to smudge. <laughs> How's that? It's kind of good. Of course it breaks. That's awesome. Probably end up smudged on my white chairs. I am not a professional makeup artist. I just do good, or at least okay. <laughs> it works out, I've been doing it for about 40 years now, so whatever. Pretty much my whole life. I guess not 40 years, more like 
30. <laughs> So once I get my makeup on, I'm gonna have my husband take me to the beach and we'll do some photos. Now I'm just gonna line my waterline with the black pencil. I haven't quite figured out how to do this on camera yet, so. looking better already so yeah I just darkened my eyebrows using a black pencil I lined my waterline using a black pencil as well now I forgot to get my mascara so I'm gonna run and get that so I forgot to get my mascara just any mascara this one's Alme but I'm sure most work fine. This is not a professional makeup channel. It's just for Halloween. So you can literally use any, uh, any um, mascara that you like. You always wanna put mascara on before you put fake eyelashes on. So I bought these eyelashes and they're kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna like them, <laughs> but you know, they're wild. And again, I'm doing them for several costumes, so they kind of needed to go with all of them. So some of my costumes are gonna be a little more elaborate than others. And that's why I got them. They're a little over-exaggerated. I did use an icy lipstick. It's on um, Revlon and Skyline Pink. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but um, have you seen uh, something about Mary? There's that old lady, and when they do the fake tan, they do the lighter lipstick. Kind of makes you look a little more tan. Accentuates the tan. I need that accentuated because I'm very white so uh, I got these crazy eyelashes by kiss you can see that they're um, very over exaggerated so I'm gonna usually use a um what do you call it I have this really old eyelash glue, so hopefully it still works. I think it'll probably even work better. It's like more sticky now, maybe. But I usually use the tweezers to get them on. <laughs> Again, something else I forgot to grab, but this is only my first video, so I'm just trying to do my best to, um, learn how to do this in the first place and get better at it. So I'm going to put on these crazy eyelashes. You want it to get a little tacky. Put the glue on, let it get a little tacky first. If you're going to wear eyeliner, uh, like a winged liner or something, you always want to do that first. Uh, don't try to put the lashes on and then put the eyeliner on because it'll be lumpy and bumpy. So I'm not doing that because uh, tonight for the Tahitian thing, they're very natural looking for the most part. Eyelashes are going to be crazy, but they are, um, <laughs> that is some crazy eyelashes. Oh my God. 
you don't have to use this crazy. This is just what I bought, so. I look like um, Brittany from 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> it is wild. My husband's hungry and you know what that means. So I'm trying to kind of rush this a little bit. Because if he doesn't get fed, the hungry turns to hangry pretty fast. And I still want him to take me to the beach. But that's how you know when you got a good one is uh, they can handle your crazy. I think he handles it pretty well. So I'm going to put this other eyelash on. <clears throat> I'm probably not even doing this the right way. I mean, look at how crazy they are. I look like I have spiders in my eyes. CVS had all the eyelashes on lockdown today. I don't know what the reason for that is. I guess this is filming when it goes dark. Still, I just can't see myself. I'm gonna put this other one on. This one I didn't really wait for the glue to get tacky. I'm a little bit of a hurry. I just use my fingers and pinch it on, to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm not really a professional, but it works. And I don't have any eyeshadow that I'm worried about messing up or anything. So this is my makeup. I've got my coconut bra on and I'm gonna put my wig on now. I am now wigtastic. Went and put my wig on. Now I'm gonna round up my husband. We're gonna go to the beach and take some still shots and there you'll see the whole costume. Hello, me again. In closing, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And the costumes will get harder as we go. I wanted to start off for my first video with an easy one because I didn't know what I was doing and I still don't know what I'm doing. And for a simpler look, you can always wear the, um, I forget what they're called, but the Hawaiian headdress. And for a couple's look, you can always do uh, a man and a woman um, Hawaiian look. It's a simple costume. It's not gonna, you know, ruin your budget or anything like that. It's gonna be <clears throat> a very um, affordable costume that everyone will love. And it's really timeless. It's classic. So thank you for watching. If you loved this video, please leave a comment and subscribe. And I hope to be putting out more videos here in the near future, uh, probably Mondays and Wednesdays uh, in the evening. So thank you so much.